Hello and welcome to the Forensic Team YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you the evidence that was created using the video that I produced earlier, Internet Explorer and the test website, what evidence is produced. I've entered the case, I've entered the evidence into a case um, and you can see that the evidence is currently unprocessed. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to process the evidence. So we click on process evidence. Encase recommends you to process the evidence um, first thing as soon as you you know create your case. So we're going to click on process, it gives you a list of options underneath, we want to deselect all these options because the only one that we're interested in at the moment is internet artifacts, so we keep the one that says find internet artifacts. The reason we've deselected the other options, they are useful but it does take an awfully long time to process the evidence if you select all the options, so due to time limits we're going to just select find internet artifacts. Normally the process does take 10 minutes, if you look at the bottom right hand corner you can see that the evidence is processing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip to when the evidence has processed. There you go. Evidence is now processed. It doesn't really take that amount of time. Usually it takes a slightly longer than that. Okay, so we want to view the records um, that have been processed. So we click on view, click on records. This is the results from processing evidence. Okay, so you want to click on internet and from the tree pane. And then double click on the internet link that it provides you. And then it gives you the list of browsers and the artifacts that um, Encase has found. So we're interested in Internet Explorer. So we're just going to look at this tree pane there for Internet Explorer. And first thing we'll do is we'll look at the history folder. In the history folder, we have a folder uh, for type URLs. Um, the file name within this folder is ntuser.dat. This is basically a log record of all the type URLs the user enters in Internet Explorer in its regular browsing mode. You can see that we've got the URL for the test website there. Okay, you can look at it in hex view as well. It clearly defines, clearly states the, the URL for the test website there. So that is potential evidence for an investigator. It's going to use the arrow to go back. And we're going to double click on the daily history folder. Normally you'll find a weekly history folder as well, but because of the scenario we've done the experiments in, it's only created the daily one, okay? Um, I know where the record is currently stored because I have been through this evidence file before recording the video. Um, however, you may need to do some digging up. So if you scroll down here, we're going to find the record for the test website. And I believe it's at the record I'm pointing at now. And there you go. It's janus.uclan.ac.uk and index.html. So that's the home page. It also provides you the name of the host. And it provides you with the start date and end date for the file, which is a daily file. So it just provides you with the dates, the 8th and the 9th. And if you look at the last accessed one, that's the record date and time for when it was created, when it was last accessed, okay? So look at the file after that. That's a file just for the host, janus.uclan.ac.uk. So it's not a specific web page, it's just for the host, okay? What um, Internet Explorer does, it creates one file for the host, and for every page of that particular website, it will create a separate file. So it won't repeatedly create the same file for the host again. This is with the daily in with the daily history folder okay it's going to go through the records and show you the other pages of the test website page two page three we've got the we have the cookie.php page come up as well in a second you can right click on these files and click go to file which will give you further information but currently we are just looking at the records produced by the case case processor okay it's going to go back using the arrow go back again Okay, <coughs> we look at the cookie folder now because cookies are again a very important source of information to an investigator. I'm going to scroll down to the result which I obtained earlier. You may have to do some digging up yourself to find find the result that you're looking for. Okay, so it's a cookie that we created um, using the test website janus.uclan.ac.uk. Um, you can see the time of the cookie. You can see that the cookie has a life of one hour, and that is what we set. We set the cookie to have an expiration of one hour, okay? It also provides you with the date and time. Okay, it also gives you the name of the user, the profile that created the cookie. If you go into hex view, you can see that we have the cookie name, that's the cookie 2. We have the contents of the cookie, which is my name, Zulfi Carpetel. Then we have the URL which created the cookie. Okay, and then we have some numbers. These numbers are basically the dates and times for when the cookie was created and when the cookie expires. You can use a program called Decode by Digital Detective, which 
you just enter the numbers into that program and it decodes those numbers into a date and time value for you ok so we're going to go back using the arrow now I guess should have not got back there so we're going to go back into the explorer there for you and um, we're going to look at the cache now the cache is very important to an investigator it basically holds a temporary it's a temporary internet files it holds images videos anything that makes a browsing experience quicker for the user is held in the cache okay so we're going to look for um artifacts relative to the test website which um exist in the cache okay and um, like i said i have i have been through the cache before and i have found the relevant evidence so i'm just going to show you okay there's the image of the test website um, that we used on the image page is clearly there we can see it so for an investigator you can clearly see the images um, from websites the, the the perpetrator has visited it also gives you your URL where the file existed from and um, it gives you dates and times when the files were visited and was last accessed it tells you the browser that was used and it also gives you the, um, the username the profile which created um, that particular entry in the cache if you look at the file in um, in different formats like in hex view so it's a bit more difficult to understand but the NCASE does have a picture view which clearly displays the picture for us now these are artifacts related to the video that we played because you can see the .mp4 file um, not quite worked to how to actually play these files but you can see that it is it's located from Vimeo which which kind of puts um, a proof of whether it is the correct video and um, it also gives you specific times of when it was last accessed um, and when the file was created ok so what shall we look at next we've got pages here index.htm this is just um, in the cache it basically stores an image of the page that you visited in html so it, next time they want to load the page they don't have, they can just look in the cache for that page and load it from there so it makes it a lot quicker so we've got one for each page of the test website they visited and you can see these files are not deleted by the browser Okay, that's what that's for the cookie page, um, but as you can see, the cookie page is blank, so therefore we can't see anything in that file. Okay, it's going to go back away from the cache. That's that's basically an analysis, analysis of Internet Explorer using the evident case processor. You can do some further digging up yourself, and you don't you don't just need to look at the processor. You, you, it's better to look at other things yourself as well. Thank you for watching Forensic Theme.